Hey everybody, this is Steve with Fuel It, and today we're going to go over the assembly of our Stage 3 and Stage 4 bucket list pumps. When you have your Stage 2 bucket list that you may have already gotten, it will actually have this fitting on it right here. When we are upgrading to a Stage 3, we'll change to this fitting here that will be included with your package. Also included with your package will be a 70 millimeter bolt to attach the two assemblies together and the um, bolts and nuts and stuff to assemble the electrical fittings. And then of course you'll have your um, filter assemblies and then for stage three you'll have your fuel line that goes from the secondary pump to the primary pump. So if you've already got either way, you, when you've got your stage two bucket list, you'll go ahead and remove this fitting from your stage two bucket list pump and you'll go ahead and install it on your stage three pump. If you've ordered a stage four, it will just come with this fitting as well. And so you'll leave your stock fitting in place on the stage two bucket list. So to get started on this, the first thing that you'll want to do to make things a little easier for yourself is to go ahead and one remove this 532nd inch allen bolt that is where the other bolt will come through and thread in once you've placed the assembly in the tank so we're going to set that aside or discard it and then the other thing that you'll want to do is connect your electrical fittings it'll be easier to do it outside of the tank so you've got a positive and a ground and then on your um, top hat you've got the ground and the positive. So in order to do that you'll go ahead and take bolt. These are 3 seconds Allen wrench. Go ahead and put that in place. Put a lock washer in place. And then go ahead and thread that in like so. And then same thing for the positive side. Put your lock washer on. Now the holes for these, you have two options when you order from us. You can order a top hat and put in a, uh, basically do a core deposit for a top hat. We'll have already drilled it for you. And um, then you don't have to do it. You can just return your stock top hat to get your deposit back. Or if you're going to do it yourself, you you can see where the locations are for those holes, and the hole size is nine sixty fourths. So now that we've got that done, we'll go ahead and put the lock washers on. Then you'll go ahead and put your jam nuts on. And this bolt size, uh, nut size, is eleven thirty seconds. So we'll go ahead and tighten those up. And you'll want to get them pretty tight so that when you're actually making your electrical connection on the top and you're tightening up your nylon nuts, that these don't back their, back their way out. So go ahead and put a wrench on it. Tighten it up pretty tight. I won't show you that. Just you get the idea. All right. And then when, once this is in the tank, you'll go ahead and set your stage two bucket list back in the tank. You'll take your stage three bucket lists, attach it to, and then just lay it on the bottom of the tank like so, and then you can come in from the top and put in this 532nd inch Allen wrench bolt, like so, okay, and then your fuel line just gets locked in place here, this is for the secondary pump into the primary feed, and then this is the connection for your stock uh, assembly as well. Then the only thing that's left to do is put the top hat in place. Go ahead and, in this case, I don't have the float assembly, but of course that would lock in place as well. And go ahead and make the stock connection. And that is the completed assembly for the stage three. Of course, you'll have your filter assemblies as well, but that's that. So, and then just real quick on the stage four, the only difference, as I said, on the stage four is your stage two bucket list fitting will remain in place. You'll just rotate it a little bit further so that the stock fitting can um, fit on there nicely. And then the secondary pump here, instead of plugging into and feeding through the primary pump, 
it goes out the top hat. And so in this case, you would have paid a core deposit. We send you this complete. You can just send your top back, hat back for the refund on your core deposit. And then the fuel line just locks in place. We've um, done the electricals the same way. The only difference is we cable tied these up just so it was a little neater for um, the video presentation. And then when you're hooking up the top and your feed lines, this is your return line fitting, and then this is your secondary feed line fitting. So with our stage four kit, there is the primary feed line that goes through the stock filter assembly, and then there is the secondary pump feeds externally through a dash 6AN feed line that then goes to our dual input 6 micron E85 compatible filter, and uh, that's how that's installed. And then all of the electrical connections are the same for the stage three and stage four. Just the um, secondary um, wiring harness with the relay and such. So, hope that's answered all of your questions. If you have any questions, uh, drop us an email at info at fuel-it.com. And again, that was our stage three and stage four bucket list assembly overview. Thanks for watching.